Good morning. How are we doing today, everybody? Cool. Welcome to the five minute countdown pre service at the movies, week four. We are excited. Thank you for joining us online. Thank you for joining us here in person. We're going to have a little bit of fun in a second. My name's Tim, and the first thing I want to do is remind you, if you're watching online or in here, here in person, remind you about our viewing website, live.communitycc.com. If you're here in person, great opportunity to just text that link to a buddy who's not here and invite them to join you today. That's where we're gonna be streaming it. If you're watching online and you're not at live.communitycc.com, you're gonna to wanna to go there because if you're on our YouTube channel, if you're watching on Facebook, we're gonna shut those feeds down here in a little bit because of copyright stuff with the movies that we're going to watch. So live.communitycc.com. Also want to remind you about our app. We have the app loaded, ready to go for today's message. If you don't have our church app yet, you can go to communitycc.com slash app. Download that if you're here in person. You can have that open with the message notes ready to go. Following along during the message, we put scripture links in there, some fill in the blanks, some fun things to do for you. A lot of other stuff, great stuff in the app. You're gonna want that. Watching online, get that downloaded either way, in person, online. Glad you're here. So speaking of fill in the blanks, let's have a little bit of fun. We've done uh, top 10 movies. We've done top 10 movie snacks. Today, we're gonna do some movie quotes. Some of the most famous movie quotes of all time. I'm going to read them, and I'm going to leave a spot at the end, a little blank, and I want you to yell. And here's the thing. If you're at home, doesn't matter. You're watching online. You're here in person. I want you to yell from wherever you're watching what the last word of this famous movie quote would be. You guys help me out with that? So here's some famous movie quotes. All right, I'm gonna read them up to a certain point and then you finish them off. A little bit of fun, here you go. Uh, let's see, let's start with an easy one. I'll try to get close. I'm pretty bad at impressions, I'm just saying, but I'll give it a shot. <clears throat> Mama always said life is like a box of, you never know what you're gonna. Great job, give yourselves a hand, that was pretty good. Pretty good. Hopefully uh, at home, not only did you say chocolates, you're currently on the way to the fridge to get chocolates and eat the rest of the day. Good stuff. Uh, how about this one? Uh, a little physical action here. You got to... There's no place like... Great job, Wizard of Oz. No place like home. I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. All right, Wizard of Oz fans. Anybody grow up, you couldn't wait till the one day a year that they showed the Wizard of Oz on TV. Like you got, the, you know what I'm talking about? You guys, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I loved that day. All right, here's a couple of fun ones. How about this one? To infinity and yes. Here's a shout out to week two. You're killing me. Oh, we got to do better. We actually show this movie. You're killing me. There you go. That's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, okay. I'm king of the world, Titanic. You guys, come on. He's on the boat. You're like, what are you doing, Tim? All right, I got one more. Here we go. Got to do a little sound effect for this one. All right, you ready? I am your father. Empire Strikes Back. Not just Star Wars, it's Empire Strikes Back. That's a good one. All right, thanks for joining us today. I want to jump into Mark 12 is one of my favorite passages of all time. It's where Jesus reminds us of the most important thing. In Mark 12, he says, the most important thing is this, to love the Lord your God with all of your heart, all of your soul, all your mind, and all of your strength. It's the greatest commandment. What an amazing invitation Jesus gives all of us to simply remember him, keep him as a priority, and to worship him always and together. And that's the opportunity we have right now today. So we invite you to worship this morning with us. Church, let's 
Let's worship together. When all I see is the battle, you see my victory. When all I see is the mountain, you see a mountain moved. And as I walk through the shadow, your love surrounds me. There's nothing to fear now, for I am safe. So when I fight, I'll fight on my knees with my hands lifted high. Oh God, the battle belongs to you. Every fear I lay at your feet, I'll sing through the night. Oh God, the battle belongs to you. for me who can be against me hey. for Jesus there's nothing impossible for you when all I see are the ashes you see the beauty thank you God thank you God Stand against the power of our God. You shine in the shadows. You win every battle. Nothing can stand against the power of our God. Almighty fortress, you go before us. Nothing can stand against the power of our God. You shine in the shadows, you win every battle. Nothing can stand against the power of our God. Oh, almighty fortress, you go before us. Nothing can stand against the power of our God. You shine in the shadows. Stand against the power of our God. So when I fight, I'll fight on my knees with my hands lifted high. Oh God, the battle belongs to you. Every fear I lay at your feet, I'll sing through the night. Oh God, the battle belongs.
the space between where I used to be in this reckoning. I know I will never be alone. There was another in the fire standing next to me. There was another in the water holding back the seas. And should I ever need Across the bears is a burden where another died for me. There was another in the fire. All my dead left for dead beneath the wall. between what remains of me and this reckoning either way i won't bow to the things of this world cause i know i know i will never be
Christ is my firm foundation, the rock on which I stand when everything around me shaken. Say 
Heavenly Father, we thank you for that truth that you won't fail. You never have and you never will. What an incredible honor to lift that truth and praise and worship to you today. God, we love you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. You guys can be seated. Thank you so much for joining us here, Community Christian Church today. Thank you for coming in person. Thank you for joining us online. We just love coming together. Never want to take for granted the, the honor and opportunity that we have to do that, to come together and praise Jesus. If you're here in person, we'd love you to take that Connect card. It's on the seat back in front of you. Just fill that out during the service and make sure you utilize that prayer request part right at the bottom. We love, every week, we love going through these cards. We love praying for these requests that you share. We pray for them. We pray with you. And you can drop those in any of the giving boxes in any of our lobbies on the way out at the end of the service. And if you're watching online, you can go ahead and text the word new to that number. All right. If you're here in person and new, I'm going to tell you what to do with that connect card in just a second. But thank you for joining us. First time guests. We love that you chose community watching online. You can check in in the app and make sure you text new to that number that we put on the screen. If you're here in person, we want you to take that connect card. And at the end of the service, instead of putting it in a giving box, just go out to our central lobby on your right hand side. There's a connecting point area table, big wall that says connecting point. We got a special gift for you. We'd love to welcome you to community and thank you for joining us today. Well, at the movies, week four, we're excited. Here's one quick reminder for you in person, live.communitycc.com. Take that link, text it to a friend, text it to a neighbor, text it to somebody who's not currently here with you. Invite them to watch today's service with you while you're here. If you're watching online, that's where you want to be. Text that to a uh, a friend as well and say, why don't you join me? I'm currently watching church at this website. Love to have you join me. But if you're on our YouTube or Facebook page, you're going to want to switch because in a little bit after communion, after offering, when we roll that movie, we're going to have to shut down our Facebook and our YouTube feed. So live.communitycc is where you want to be. I just mentioned communion. What an incredible opportunity. We take every single week, we take Jesus' invitation to remember him seriously. And so communion is something we share every single week. On your way in, maybe you got that little cup of juice and bread. And if you didn't, if you forgot that, you can feel free to get up right now and go get that. They're located right behind our sound booth on a table there. At home, you have your communion supplies ready. In just a second, I'm going to pray. We'll put some scripture on the screen. And communion is simply a time to remember Jesus. Jesus, the Last Supper, he took bread and he broke it. He said, take and eat and do this in remembrance of me. And then he passed the cup. He said, take and drink, and this is my blood. The bread represented his body. The juice represented his blood. Said, take and drink, and do this in remembrance of me. And so communion's a time every single week where we remember the cross. We remember Jesus' sacrifice and what he did for you, for me, to bring us back to God. So let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we love you and thank you for Jesus. We thank you for what he did for us on the cross. We thank you for his invitation to follow him. And God, we remember now, hear our prayers as we thank you, as we praise you, as maybe we repent and we remember you. Thank you for loving us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.
Well, this week, we were all glued to our TVs and phones as we watched an historic hurricane hit our brothers and sisters on the opposite coast, southwest Florida. And frankly, uh, I just kind of, I don't know how to feel. Maybe like a lot of us, like I'm so thankful that we were spared, right, on this side, but then my heart breaks all at the same time. I just have all these emotions and, uh, and the question that, that we're getting, that I'm asking personally, like, what can we do, right? We see these pictures and these videos we watched. Uh, we know people are hurting. And so uh, we've got several churches, several close friends uh, that we know, that we trust, because there's a lot of reports that come out of a disaster, but we have some people that we trust in Cape Coral, in Fort Myers, in Port Charlotte, uh, pastors and ministers at churches that were right there that are impacted the most. And, uh, and so what we're doing is we're listening to them, and we're kind of taking those needs into consideration, and for right now, the best thing that we know uh, to encourage everybody to do is go to our homepage, communitycc.com. You're going to see uh, a, a link for Hurricane Ian Relief. We have a special page that we've made. And on that page, we have two action step items that, that everybody can partake in. Maybe some of you guys um, watching online or here in person, uh, you're able to go to help out. At some point when the time's right, when we hear that, that it's safe and roads, you know, for regular vehicles are able to, we can actually get to where they're at. Uh, we're hoping to be able to take some folks over there to just, just help with whatever they need. Uh, and so there's a link on that page to sign up and you'll be put in a group that we communicate with regularly. Hey, here's our first trip. It might be uh, later this week. It might be in a couple weeks. We're, frankly, we're going to probably do several trips over there to help because uh, this is going to be a long cleanup process. So you can sign up for that group right there on that website. You go to our communitycc.com, our homepage, Hurricane Ian, there's a button right there. So there's a link there to sign up and just be put in a group that we'll communicate with. Hey, we're going to go now. We're going to go now. And, and you can put special skills. Hey, I have a lot of uh, a chainsaw stuff, or I'm an electrician, or I'm a plumber, or I have this equipment that I can bring and help out. So, um, But also, we get asked this. Here's the second thing. We get asked, hey, what can I bring? What do they need? You know, is toiletries? Do they need generators? Do they need water? All that stuff. So uh, instead of like us becoming this collection point and trying to get all this random stuff, what we've done is just a financial link right there. And you can click on it, and there's a little drop-down menu. If you wanted to go buy waters and bring them here, you can just donate for us to go pick up waters right there on that website. And as we hear these needs directly from the people in Cape Coral and Port Charlotte, we're going to use this fund. Every single thing that's given to this fund will be used to purchase items and take over to them and distribute. Does that make sense? All right, because we all want to help, but we want to help in the right way. We don't want to be a burden. We don't want to be in the way. We want to be there at the right time. So sign up to be in that group. It's all on that web page. And then you can also donate financially. And, uh, and we'll, as we're talking to these uh, men and women on the ground over there, uh, we'll let you know accordingly, all right? So main thing we can do, man, we never want to stop being people of prayer. And so for our offering time right now, let's just spend a little bit of time with some focused prayer for our brothers and sisters on the other coast. Heavenly Father, we love you. We thank you for your generosity that we just remembered during communion. And God, we pray for those that, that were in the path of Hurricane Ian. And God, right now, I know there's some, there's some churches, no power, no water, and they're still having service. They're still choosing to gather together and worship you this morning, God. What a powerful testimony. So help us to know, give us wisdom to know the right time and the right things to do so that as a church, we can continue to help and support these people. We pray for the men and women, the National Guard, the, the local uh, local mayors and, and the, the police and the fire department, all the people there, all the volunteers, people that, that are, are taking their, you know, airboats and canoes and just helping over there, God. We thank you for, we thank you for the people that are giving. Help us to be generous, God, in our attitude towards helping our brothers and sisters in Southwest Florida. And we ask this in Jesus' name, amen. 
All right, a couple quick things, and then we'll jump into this week's movie. One more reminder, live.communitycc.com. If you're watching online and you're on Facebook, it's not going to be up very long. So hop on over right now, live.communitycc.com. One last reminder, text that link to some friends. If you've ever, here's a quick announcement for you. If you've ever considered a will or a living trust, what do I do with the stuff I have to prepare for my future, my legacy? We are offering free of charge this afternoon, 1 p.m. upstairs in the loft, an estate planning seminar. If you can't make it here in person, 1 o'clock today for that, we're doing an online one tomorrow night at 7 p.m. There's no cost. There's no commitment. Just come, listen, and figure out the best move uh, for you financially for your future. I've done this with my family. My mom and dad did that. It's, it's an amazing, amazing thing. So if you haven't done it yet, you can go to our website, communitycc.com, right there on the homepage. Click the estate planning seminar. Sign up for that. Uh, show up here at 1 o'clock today, or you'll get the information for the online as well. Let me talk to you about, it's uh, Hispanic Heritage Month. I don't speak any Spanish. There you go. So Pastor G, really, he should be up here uh, talking to you. But here's what we are doing. We are excited because next Saturday, we are going to have uh, a Spanish ministry gathering where Pastor G, he's got an amazing team, and, and they are going to kind of kick, re-kick off our, our Spanish ministry. And we're asking anybody that's interested to come on out. If you have some Spanish-speaking friends and family, it's going to be here in the loft next Saturday night. I think it's 6 p.m. Did I say that right? Here we go. Yes. 6 p.m. in the loft, Tamarack campus. And so there's going to be a time of some food. Amen. For food. You know what I'm talking about. So, uh, but we encourage you bring some side dishes and stuff like that. So potluck style, we'll provide some food as well. But Pastor G is going to share some vision for the Spanish ministry, and you're going to hear a message, all of this in Spanish. So if you're here and you're like, that sounds like a lot of fun, I don't speak Spanish, this isn't for you, okay? Uh, so don't just come eat the food and say, thank you, you know, gracias, whatever, that's not for you, all right? So uh, we're kicking off our Spanish ministry, Pastor G's going to do a great, great job. Uh, can't wait for his message, can't wait for the food, going to have a worship service, all of this upstairs, all in Spanish, in the loft, it's going to be an amazing time, you can find out more information on our homepage again, communitycc.com. So, at the movies, week four, hopefully you got your popcorn, got your snacks, got those water bottles at home, I just talked about food, so you're searching through like your fridge right now, get it ready. But here we go, sit back, relax, and enjoy at the movies, week four. <laughs> 